The Tesla community is eager for the announcements Tesla will make on Battery Day, and there are insane amounts of speculation about it, everything from battery breakthroughs all the way to a new car announcement. Here, we'll discuss about what could be revealed in the presentation and how it would impact on Tesla's future. You're watching On Forward. After being delayed because of the pandemic, the date of the Tesla Battery Day event is now really close, as it is expected to take place on September 22nd. And, as I said, the list of things that could happen is almost endless. So we're starting with what I'm almost sure will be announced on the event. As we already know, currently, Tesla is the indisputable leader on battery technology, as they have the EV with most range to date, the Tesla Model S, which has 402 miles of range. But this is a luxury vehicle, and for cheaper models the range is cut down significantly, while costing even more than comparable ICE cars. So, there are two main obstacles EVs must overcome to become mainstream, so let's talk about how Tesla will sort these problems and why I think this will be the main reveal of Battery Day. The first obstacle is the price. Currently, the battery is one of the most expensive components of an electric vehicle. For example, in the Standard Range Plus Model 3, the cost of the battery is estimated to be more than 20% of the total cost of the vehicle. So, if Tesla can achieve lower cost and higher density batteries, they would need fewer batteries per car, which would make them lighter, more efficient and cheaper to produce. And this, in combination with other factors like economies of scale and automation, would enable them to achieve price parity with ICE cars. This is extremely important for mass adoption of electric vehicles. Just imagine being able to buy an entry-level Tesla for $20,000 and how many customers would be able to afford it. But with more demand for electric vehicles, we encounter the second obstacle, battery production. Currently, the biggest bottleneck for EVs manufacturing is the availability of batteries, or the lack of it. For example, Audi had to delay the e-tron's launch and production, and something similar happened with the Jaguar I-Pace, whose production has been paused earlier this year for the same reason. Therefore, securing battery supply has been proven to be one of the key factors for successfully deploying the production of electric vehicles. With this in mind, I think on Battery Day, Tesla will reveal the plan they have been working on for the last year, called Project Roadrunner, aimed specifically to produce cheaper battery cells at a massive scale. These new batteries will be entirely manufactured by Tesla at the new location called Terra Battery Manufacturing Facility, which is near the Fremont factory. The last few weeks Tesla has been doing major construction on this facility, so it looks like they have something big in their hands. Basically, if Tesla wants to keep ramping up production of their lineup and bring to market the Cybertruck, the Semi, the Roadster, etc., they will need a ton of batteries. That's why I think they won't end the agreements with other big battery manufacturers such as Panasonic or CATL even if Tesla is producing its own cells in-house. Simply because, from now on, they will need every battery they can get their hands on. What is more, maybe on battery day they will be announcing a new partnership with the company Amprius, as they have a new nanowire technology for batteries, which could have an enormous potential. While this is pure speculation, Tesla teased an image whose background has figures very similar to silicon nanowires. Tesla has achieved such an incredible efficiency on their cars, especially the Model 3 and Model Y, that they are now comfortable putting their batteries that are not that energy dense, like what happens with the Chinese Model 3s, which are using CATL's batteries. I think they will use their in-house made batteries, which are probably going to be top of the notch, for the vehicles where they need exceptional performance, such as the Semi, the Roadster, and maybe even the Plaid Model S, at least at the beginning. What I wanted to say is that we should expect a new battery breakthrough announced on Battery Day, which might include cost reduction, 
higher energy density and an increased longevity of the cells, along with a plan for rapidly expanding production of these batteries to keep up with all the cars they will continue to produce. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel as I make similar content regularly. As a side note, with all these new batteries being manufactured, Tesla will need to invest more and more on battery recycling, so maybe we could see a partnership between Tesla and Redwood Materials, which is a company that JB Strabble co-founded in 2017, centered on, quoting from their website, inventing circular supply chains, turning waste into profit, and solving the environmental impacts of new products before they happen. Elon Musk said that they will keep most of its vehicles ranges on approximately 300 miles. Listen to Elon talking about this. With, re with regard to passenger vehicles, I, th I think the new normal for range is going to be, you know, approximately 300 miles. I think people will really come to expect that as, as normal, you know, that, that, that's a standard expectation. I think 300 is going to be really, or close to 300 is going to be a new normal. Yeah, call it 500 kilometers, basically. So, if the batteries are more efficient and cheaper, therefore the cars will be cheaper too. Which gets me to the point. There is a chance Tesla announces a new car on battery day. Maybe not a prototype yet, but just to say that they are working on it. I think this would be the same car they have been teasing on China. A compact and cheap mass-market car, designed and produced in China, but sold globally. If you want to know what plans Tesla has for China, I am sure you will like this video. Do you think there is anything else Tesla could announce on battery day and I am missing here? Let me know in the comments, I want to hear from you. Elon is showing himself very excited for battery day, and I can see big news coming which will help us understand the path Tesla wants to follow to keep expanding its business. In this event, Tesla will reveal tech that will bring us closer to a sustainable future, getting rid of internal combustion engine vehicles. Thank you for watching all the way through. Here are two more videos that you may enjoy. See you soon.